Yo, what's going on guys? Today we're doing another build review. We had someone uh, redeem another Moe's build. So we're gonna be doing Mortar Mama Moe's. This is a launcher build made by uh, someone named Ramen Delivery Truck. I'm gonna be playing this build and telling you guys what I think. First, let's go over his build. Before we get into the video, if you guys could please drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Borderlands 3 videos. I'd really appreciate it. So Ramen Delivery Truck uses 390 on all of his launchers. You can use pretty much any launcher in the game on this build. Uh, he even has a major Kong equipped. I might try it later, we'll see. Um, and yeah, it's pretty much just a launcher build. You want 390, that's gonna give you the best math possible because we have tons of splash damage uh, with Moe's. We're actually using the Bloodletter class mod and that's because we're using a triple rolled amp madcap. So we are, we have a ton of shields with the Madcap, but we do get that triple amp and it's a really awesome combo with the Bloodletter class mod. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna get constant amp shots. Uh, we get lots of splash damage on our class mod, splash damage on our artifact, and then 390 on our guns. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all you guys need to know. Just get a Deathless with AOE um, and incendiary damage or mag size. These are probably the three most optimal rolls for the most part. Um, and then when it comes to our grenade, we're using a cloning maddening tracker. Now you guys noticed that ramen delivery truck had a level 17 cloning maddening tracker equipped. And that's so uh, Moe's doesn't kill herself with her grenades. Because with a maxed out grenade, it's uh, really easy to do that with. Now going into the skill trees, you guys are going to notice we don't have any grizzled. That's the first thing. Um, and we don't have topped off active. We actually deactivated topped off in our guardian rank. And that is because of the skill that you guys all know and love, Big Surplus. Uh, we actually don't want Iron Cub to be active. We want Big Surplus to be active. Uh, so it's pretty straightforward. Otherwise, this is a pretty straightforward uh, launcher setup for Moe's. Uh, we went all the way down to Short Fuse. Uh, let me also take my Bloodletter off so I can show you the red tree. We went all the way down to Short Fuse. Uh, we went all the way down to Russian Offensive in the green tree. This also helps us heal a little bit to get that amp shot back up. Uh, and then we went all the way down to Phalanx Doctrine in the Red Tree. This is just how many points we could get into this tree. Uh, but six out of three Desperate Measures, once we get our Bloodletter back on, uh, is pretty dope and gives Moe's a lot of gun damage to work with. In fact, up to 100%. And uh, yeah, that is the build and the skill trees. Let's go ahead and head over to the Malawan Takedown and give this build a try. Wait, is this a Globetrotter or a Yellow Cake? Oh my god, I'm so scared. Yeah, Globetrotter's pretty good. This was the gun I was actually looking forward to using more than anything, I think. Um, okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, listen. Listen, this is my, uh, this is my first experience with Tor Cross promotion, okay? Bro, has anyone ever dared use frickin... <laughs> uh, splash radius. I roll a double downer with her. Iron Cub, I'll remember that. Look, we get rid of our Iron Cubs around here, okay? Okay. Well, that's one way to do it. That's one way to do it, guys. Am I crowd right now? I'm sorry, but that was just so funny. Uh, I could swap to fire Old God Triple Amp. Old God cannot get, uh, Triple Amp. Old God cannot get Amp. Uh, it's because it's a Hyperion. TCP plus Splash Radius equals constant fight for your life. Hey, I seen someone who made a double downer root build for Moe's. Because TPS, or T TPS. TPS, by the way. TCP. Because TCP goes hard with the root, I'm pretty sure. I'm just gonna get those globe trotters out there. Yeah, globe trotters are doing pretty good. Except the parts where I'm dead. Alright, honestly I wanna use globe trotter on Kraken. I think it'll work. 
Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, that was sick. That was kind of cool. I do enjoy using this globe trotter. I'm gonna be honest. Just because it reminds me so much of the yellow cake. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, it's fine. I guess. I genuinely don't know. I'm running COV guns on her with Minesweeper. Okay, cool. Globe Trotter's pretty fun. Yeah, I probably didn't get the short fuse on that shot. I thought it would just do enough damage anyway, honestly. I didn't have my amp shot active either. Okay, I'm kind of scared now. <laughs> like, how many fight for your lives? Insta-kill. Dude, I kind of want to shoot Globetrotter on the bridge. It sounds like it would be fun on the bridge. Prepare to get stomped. Dude, Marissa Lenti is such a great voice actress. This build puts the fear of God in you. Yeah, the fear of God is in me. The fear of God is in me. I don't want to get hit by my own freaking... What's it called? Hard mode is using a level 65 CMT. Yeah, I know. All right, cool. This gun's kind of weird how it, how it does seem to work pretty well. All right, that's not good. Okay, cool. I needed those to explode on the, uh, yeah, those little things she puts out. Maybe we switch to back burner real quick. Let's try out some Major Con. Oh, okay, sure. Oh, yeah, Major Con seems good. The Kong was pretty decent on Zane. I actually bet it's really good now that the uh, purple tree's out. Because I could make it work on Zane, it just wasn't ammo efficient at all. Because you had to full charge it every time. Can I just spam this on Moe's? Like, can I just spam it or do I want to charge it? Oh, it looks like I can just spam it. Oh, the Major Kong's really good on Moe's then. Spam it, yeah. Dude, it overheats in like two shots though. It's a little bit annoying. We need more M6 weapons. Yeah, I could agree. I could agree with that. I have a theory that they're gonna buff the multi-tap this Thursday. I'm willing to bet money that they will. I really think they're going to. Cause they just gave a multi-tap away. And this Thursday we're getting a hotfix because uh, there's a new event happening. And it's gonna be our first hotfix in a long time. So I think we're gonna see it get buffed low key. Dude, the Major Kong feels nice. How much money? Wait, what about money? Uh, Kong kinda cheeks? Nah, dude, this is nice. This is definitely nice, dude. It's one tapping everything. Are you using that Kong as a shotgun? Yes. That's how you use the Kong. You hit them directly. Like, I could probably kill Wotan with this Kong, to be honest. I did. I'm gonna see how it does versus Wotan. I feel like it should actually be decent. Well, that's a shield. See? 
I guess we still had 390 active there, to be fair. Alright, let's get rid of 390 and see what happens. Nah, it still pretty much did it. I don't know if that was the whole phase. Yeah, it wasn't. But it still did kind of do it there, just saying. Hostile soldier on the field. Correction. Burn extremely hostile. Feel the brand Yeah, see, he only had a little bit left. Stay down, scrub. Uh, it should easily one tap the top half. It's the bottom half, I think it won't one tap. We got Russian offensive for AM. Tango spotted. Alright, I'm charging it up. Hit him in the brain! Oh, I missed. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yikes. I gotta spam these. Oh. Alright, we got the second wind off the brain there. See, it's chunking him. That's not bad for the Major Kong. And we don't have three our anointment active at all. Because uh, it's 390. Yeah, dude, see? Major Kong's pretty dope. Uh, you can kill Ruiner in one hit? Yeah, I think a lot of people really know about that already, though. Alrighty, guys, so my thoughts on this build. Uh, this is a very optimally specced Moe's build. Uh, honestly, most, like, Moe's build videos you look up uh, should tell you to go for a build like this. Um, whether you're using the Blastmaster, the Rocketeer, the Flare, whatever you decide to use, uh, your skill tree will end up looking pretty similar to this. Probably with a few changes. This was a really cool and fun build to use. Uh, like Goat said, he used this for the end game rush challenge that Triple G is doing. And he got under a two hour time, which is a pretty pro time in my opinion. Uh, I usually see less points in Red Tree. That's the main difference I would say, Goat. The calm thing. Oh yeah, true. Oh yeah, true. Most people don't recommend Bloodletter. That's the main difference. But uh, but actually, an artifact with AoE is uh, better for Moe's than the Pearl, because the double dipping, which I'm pretty sure you already know. Uh, this is an awesome build by Goat. I can't wait till he sends in his Bear Fist Moe's build. Ramen delivery truck, you better send it in. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. All right, we gotta let the music play out a little bit in the YouTube video, right? Because this is a good song. I will. Yeah, dude, we're gonna do Bear Fist bear, uh, Moe's. That pearl was optimal. So the reason why AoE is better on Moe's is only if you take Short Fuse. Uh, so uh, Short Fuse creates a secondary explosion. This double dips. So it gets that splash bonus twice. And because this skill gets mayhem scaling, it's just 10 times better.